हे गाइस वेलकम टू कोड डी कोड सो एज मेनी ऑफ यू सजेस्टेड अस टू पुट वीडियोज ऑन कोडिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो वी डिसाइडेड टू स्टार्ट सीरीज ऑन कवरिंग सच इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर इज अवर फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवन टू इनपुट फर्स्ट एन एरे ऑफ इंटीजर नम्स एंड सेकेंडली एन इंटीजर टारगेट विच रिटर्न द इंडाइसिस ऑफ टू नंबर सच दैट दे एड्स अप टू द टारगेट यू मे एज्यूम दैट ईच इनपुट विल हैव एक्जैक्टली वन सोल्यूशन एंड यू मे नॉट यूज द सेम एलिमेंट वाइज यू कैन रिटर्न द आंसर इन एनी ऑर्डर so we have some examples so in our first example we have an integer of number which consists of number 2 7 11 and 15 and we have one integer number target which is 9 so we have to create such function which will return the indices of number uh, exist in this array which adds up to 9 so uh, what would be our first approach so my first approach would be i will traverse through this number and i will again traverse through this number from second index and in the first iteration i will add this two number and if will if will match the target 9 i will return that indices of array so let's without a further ado let's get started so we have one public static void main main method so let me first create the input integer so int let me call num Which will be equal to two comma seven comma eleven comma fifteen, and uh, I'm going to create one integer called target, which will be equal to nine. Okay, so before writing any code, let me show you what approach we are going to use. So, so this is our array, right? so what i will going to use here is first i will going to loop through this num array and in this loop this will start from index start from index 0 so let's take one iteration so here we have index 0 so what's the value here at index that is the value would be 2 okay so inside this for loop we will again going to start one for loop for loop of number and it start from index 1 okay so let me okay so here what's the value value would be it start from index 1 so value would be 7 so in this second for loop i am going to put one if condition and i am going to add this 2 plus 7 if equal to target then i am going to return this array of indexes that is this 0 comma 1 so here is our target is 9 so in the first iteration it this function will return the result but what if our uh, like uh, our target would be 17 so let's take our target would be 17 so what would be the condition here so our first first iteration would be the same the inner iteration would be uh, 2 plus 7 is 9 so this condition would fail and it will again start to so it will be on number index 2 and what would be the value in index 2 it's 11 so 2 plus 11 is not equal to 17 so it again will this iteration will run and it will be on index 3 so the value would be 15 and 2 plus 15 would be 17 so it will return 0 3 so that's uh, that's how we are going to uh, that's how our function will going to work so without a further ado let's write our code so if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section i will clarify it also we have our uh, slack channel so you can ask your doubt from there also so we will write the function public int and i will name this function as to some function and this function will accept input integer 
input integer of number uh, let's call it num and it will also accept integer target okay so it is giving me error because i haven't uh, defined the return type so let's return null to avoid this distraction okay so first i am going to iterate through this number array so int i equal to 0 int less than length of array i plus plus i am again going to iterate this array but with a little twist so be with me so i am not going to take again i because i have already taken it so i am going to take j so int j but not from 0 but from i plus 1 again till the name of till the length of array j plus 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 okay so if so what's the error here oh i'm so sorry it's j less than okay so if our number of index i plus nums of index j is equal to equal to target then return this array of index so i'm not going to use one object which return i'm directly like creating object at the runtime and return from it return it so int i comma j okay so i think this will going to run let's create our class object and call this method so we have to print this so i'm going to call inside system.out.println so if i am going to call this method inside the system.out.println it will print the address of this uh, uh, array so what we can do we can use the arrays utilities and print as two string so i'm going to call arrays dot two string and i'm going to call this method i'm going to remove this uh, data type okay okay i have to call from object obviously so let's perfect so now our code is ready so i guess it will run so let's run it so as uh, as i have shown you in the pseudo code it, it is returning me 0 comma 3 so let's change this target and uh, let's print let's say 2 plus 11 is 13 so it it should return 0 comma 2 so let's save it and let's run it okay so it is returning 0 comma 2 but what if i change this to some random number let's say 454 4. what it will going to return let's check it out okay save it so it is going to return me null but this is not a good practice so what we can do here so instead of returning null what we can do here is we can throw our custom exception so here i am going to throw one illegal argument exception and i am going to give a custom message 
that is uh, no such numbers found okay so now let's run it so here it is giving me uh, java dot line illegal argument exception with a message no such numbers found so we have solved this problem using nested for loop whose complexity is order of n to the power 2 which is a bad complexity so in the next video uh, i am going to show you how to solve this problem using the complexity of order of n so let's meet in the next video bye bye